Good morning, YouTube. I'm getting ready to plate up my yogurt. Um, actually, divide it up and have a little because it is um, almost 11. And I was thinking about having a little brunch with it as well. Anyway, I wanted to show you on this on my strainer. There was measurements here. And this one says at three... Um, and three cups to and then this is 24 ounces and when I first drained this after the first half day it was a little over the three cups um, I want to say it was 25 ounces because here's the 24 ounce and it was just above it so and now there's just after the second day there's just a little bit left in there so it's definitely ready to plate up so I just wanted to do a little little uh, show you a little bowl of it let's get you propped up here so you can see better sorry for the shaking of the camera that's my phone until my camera comes in here's my bowl Honey, I'm gonna put it in my little in my little jar. I'm gonna refill that once I spoon out this. Now, instructions on this strainer say use a soft spoon. Do not press into the screen because you can damage it. So there's these lines, plastic plastic holders that hold the screens, and that's what I scrape along to scoop up a scoop of yogurt. Okay, just gonna show you what I'm gonna have for brunch with my Greek yogurt. It's not just gonna be Just the yogurt and honey. I'm gonna do a little something extra, something, something extra. My organic bananas. They're getting ready to turn, so I gotta use them up. Be nice to have fresh strawberries, but we're having a snowstorm, so I'm going to use what I got, and that's it. I got some pineapple to put in there, too. Little, little chunks of fresh pineapple that I put in the refrigerator in with my mango. I don't want to do mango. I like saving that for smoothies, because that really makes it.
Okay. Yes, I saved those mango jars because they are wonderful after I use them use up what mango I did for smoothies I save the jar and then when I have fresh fruit to put in there I put it in there and I don't add any syrup it's the water that comes from the fruit itself Organic Colorado honey, which helps and aids actually aids in my allergies. I'm going to drizzle it all over everything so I can get my honey in. have it that's my that's how I love eating my homemade organic Greek yogurt Some pineapple with that piece of banana Some yogurt from down in there with the honey. Oh, it's a big mouthful. You're not watching me eat this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Be sure to subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Like like this video and share it so other people can learn how to make yogurt the easy way if they have their if they have their um, pressure cooker like I have or the other brand like other people have that have the yogurt feature on it I will be doing some yogurt videos on how to make it the old-fashioned way but you will still need an incubator to incubate your little jars of yogurt and um, so stay tuned for those and have a great day and we'll see you on the next video